next we get to this middleweight bout between Anderson the Spider Silva and Vitor Belfort. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. The former UFC middleweight champion, Anderson the Spider Silva, is set to make the walk here tonight. This is a man still getting it done in his mid-40s, DC. Proved in the Israel Adesanya fight that he could still hang in there over a hard 15 minutes with the best guys in the world. Anderson Silva is still able to compete even though he's up there in age a little bit. And that's because of his commitment to the sport of mixed martial arts. He loves competing. He loves the spotlight. Everything that you need to drive him to be able to stay active and stay relevant in this sport, Anderson Silva possesses. Every time he steps foot in the octagon, we get a chance to witness one of the greatest fighters of all time. And when DC needed an opponent for UFC 200 on about 24 hours notice, the greatest of all time was your Huckleberry, not too bad. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Belfort is 36, Silva is 45. He is two inches taller, he will have a three inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 14 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Vitor the Phenom Belfort. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Anderson, the Spider Silva! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. It's a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Oh, big punch land. Just misses with the jab there. Well, Silva's overhand punch to the head doesn't get there blocked by the defense. 
Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Belfort. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. That punch, no good. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Way to hide that leg kick. Can't take any of those, you better check. Belfort going for the leg kick, nothing doing there. I mean, he's cutting them down. Right up the gut, DC, he's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Big plus lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Belfort gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Nice land there by Anderson Silva. Just a true mixed martial artist. Has so much honor and respect for the game. And somewhat remarkable. Still getting it done when matched up with the best middleweights in the world. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anderson the Spider Silver. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ten seconds to go in the round. Left hand punch the clinch. Second We're round, straight ahead. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just misses with the straight left hand. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, single collar tie here. Able to check that kick as well. All right, single collar tie now. Ford gets hit by that leg kick. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Kick to the body by Belfort. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. That's a big strike right there. 
visibly limping here. get your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Silva gets caught with that punch. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Right hand punch from the clinch. It's messed up really bad. stances here. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stage. It looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Silva's got the full mount. That is it! Oh! And there comes the stoppage! He's done! He's done! <laughs> Oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent, and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick, and the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest by two minutes, 57 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anderson, the Spider Silva. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career, and that'd be nice.